I'm Joel. I'm 45. Uh, three years ago, I had a, a brain infection caused from um, shingles, back, uh, shingles virus on my neck. It uh, metastasized inwardly and, and caused a brain infection that ultimately was diagnosed as uh, encephalitis. I, I wasn't functional. I didn't, didn't. My motor skills were gone. My language skills were gone. Um, my vision and hearing were terrible. Uh, my stamina was awful. I, I, I couldn't function on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything that I did for more than 10 minutes required me to take a four-hour nap. Um, gave me excruciating headaches. The light was terrible all the time. It caused violent headaches. Uh, my balance was off. S most sounds were too sharp, too loud that caused violent headaches and uh, caused intracranial swelling. I, I just there was no explanation for the things that were happening. Um, after the initial diagnosis, we started out with the, you know, the, the general practitioner doctor, you know, primary care doctor, and um, ultimately got referred to um, physical therapy and occupational therapy. And um, six months down the road, I wasn't getting any better. I, I, literally, there was no improvement in anything in my life. Um, they sent me to a brain rehab doctor from, from occupational therapy and that went on for a couple of months. Uh, I, I don't remember what, what that they, doctor did. At, at physical therapy, they spontaneously had a, an in-office training where they talked about, um, talk about hypopituitarism and the physical therapist said, you know, bring this up the next time you go to, um, to the brain the neuro neurological therapist's office. Yeah. So we brought that up. Yeah, I was misdiagnosed with um, chronic fatigue syndrome, and mm -hmm. uh, one doctor even called it uh, psychosomatic, and that I should go see a psychologist uh, because it was all in my head. Uh, and it was shortly thereafter that our, our brain rehab doctor recommended that we come to Metro Detroit, Detroit Endocrinology and meet with Oslo Haley. Uh, because he deals specifically with this sort of issue. And it took a couple of months to get into, no, was it was a month? Maybe it was two months. It might have been close to two months to get in to see him. And um, he recognized right away that the symptoms that I was exhibiting, that I was dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, or, or not dealing with for that matter, there was not much that I could do, um, it, it tended to lean towards the idea that the pituitary might be misfunctioning or malfunctioning and not functioning at all and so he uh, scheduled a stim test right away and um, we came in for the stim test and and I was responsive to that very very quickly with the within the first uh, first section of that treatment right and so we knew right away that the pituitary was was not functioning that none of my levels were registering at all and so he, he ascertained that the, the hypopituitarism was very very present and um, said that he was optimistic. He was very optimistic that uh, getting us on growth hormone, getting me on growth hormone, would make my life better. And within days, right? Within the first day or two days or three days. Within um, two weeks, it was a, a marked change. I, yeah, it was. My balance was better. My my, I wasn't affected by sounds as badly. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't have to sleep all day long just to be awake for five minutes to interact with my family. Uh, I could tolerate being in a room where there was, you know, more than a 50 decibel noise barrier, and um, you know the kids didn't have to go to the basement to play, and it was it was really uh, transformative. And uh, how, how do I even describe it? It wasn't it wasn't life changing. It really was life saving. Not just you for were, me, yeah, for all of us. Like I mean, you were not, not functional. You uh, were alive, but you couldn't, couldn't do, do anything. anything we Literally could not do anything. Yeah, it was, a, it was devastating. And I'm, a, I'm pretty impatient when it comes to my health. I don't like, uh, you know, even a cold. I, I don't have the patience to wait out a cold. And so this process of trying to recover from something that you have no control of, you, you can't put your finger on it, you can't take an over-the-counter medicine for it, um, that was a struggle all by itself, and so to have, have the growth hormone it's, uh, it's incredible. Yeah. I don't uh, that saved my life.